Hello everybody, this is Wendy with Wendy's Paper Junk, and hopefully it's not too loud. When I moved down to the basement, I clearly did not think about, uh, oh, hold on, being near the washer and dryer. <laughs> so if you hear noise, it's the washing machine. Okay, <clears throat> now I've been working, I picked out, um, papers for the, um, Oh my gosh, the secret garden. Duh, it's right here. And um, so I thought I'd show you, you know, kind of what I'm, I'm going to show you the process of this. So some of these videos might be long and boring. Some might be short and quick. I don't know. So I told you that this was going to be three signatures. So I fixed my um, three signatures. And when it comes to picking paper, you know, it's just preference. It's things that you think will you know go well you know it's just whatever you want um if you have a theme if you don't have a theme so i picked out papers that i liked um and i don't have a set rule or anything um but I, so i have three signatures um if you notice they're all different sizes i will eventually cut them down um before i put them in but as of right now they're just kind of there this is my first run um i hinged you know the book some of the book pages together um so i do um and i try not to do too many i don't even know how many i have in here um let's see like three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so they're going to be about thirteen to ten on each page um i try not to do more than that um even though i do want to add some more um pages such as you know some vintage garden book pages so instead of hinging and adding more you know to the spine um what i'll end up doing with these is layering them on the pages already in here um so i'll either like sew you know so there's an additional page or i'll you know glue a hinge or i'll fold it and you know have it glued so there's additional pages that i want in here but before I start sewing, I like to do my sewing all at once. So these I'm going to sew in. So I always put those to the side. And then I do have a couple. So like this page, I want to make a full page um, sewn um, pocket, you know. So, but I want it sewn. So I have this out to sew. And this one, I wanted to put... Um, a sewn pocket on it too and of course you know I like to add sewing to some of my pages so that comes to my next step is the lace and fabric I want to put in my journals so basically I have a tub I can't show it all on here but a tub of scraps and what I like to do is I kind of just pull it out and see what I have and what I like and what I want to put in here this is an old um, headscarf. I've saved it, but I like um, the color. It's going to go well. And I will probably use this as additional piece for like some tags. So I'll save that. So let me put that to the side. So basically I kind of go through, find stuff that I want to edge the papers with. Like this is awesome. Um, and basically that's what I'll do so I know I want some ruffles so basically I'll clip me up some pieces and I'm sure you hear the stupid washing machine oops and I'll tear some off I try not I try not to go overboard when it comes to too much fabric but I like the different textures and the feeling and some of the raggedy edges so, all right, so I got these two, and then I might do a, and just cut off a bigger piece, 
that maybe I can do a fabric tag or a fabric page or something. So basically I will um, cut a bigger piece just to have on hand because the colors are fabulous. <laughs> so my bigger piece I will fold and stick with that other blue stuff. This is my, so let me put this away. <sighs> and let's see here, I have another, these are my, I found a bunch of my, uh, these are vintage handkerchiefs. I love these. Um, I don't know about this one uh, per se yet, so uh, that's gonna go back in the thing. But I do have a little bit of black I want to add. And I have all my scarves. Oh, and I do have a vintage, an, this vintage handkerchief. That's going to be added as a um, ephemera just to have a, a fun handkerchief. So that's going to go in stuff I needs to find a pocket or four. Okay, so let's keep going. I have some of this, which will make up a great ruffle or something. I'm going to try to keep in with the, the color choices. Um, here's a bit of green. Let's see what else I got. It's just going through the... Um, I like a little bit of variety. <laughs> oh, here this I like this green. And then that has some gold in it. We'll see about that one. Um like I said, I don't want to go too overboard, but let's see. Do I have anything else that will go? I have lots of bright colors, unfortunately. Oh, I do have um you have this. This has all that gold stuff. So that might work. Um, let's see. Anything else? Sorry, I'm digging in. I'm digging. Uh, let's see. I could do a hint of this. And, oh, there's some down here. Let's see what these are. Let's see. Because uh, I want pieces to go with some, because don't forget, I got lace next. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to do a little bit of a lighter. And, no, not that one, that's two. Okay, so let me go on the opposite side real quick. And, oops. Let's see, I don't really want the yellow. I don't really want red, red. So, but I do have some of my off cuts of my um, whatever projects I've had them from. This, that's a goldie, and I just want to be able to have some. Okay. So there's that. I think that will do for now. Let me put my pieces of... Okay, so next... <laughs> I told you, I kind of have a process on some stuff. Next, I dig out my bag of lace and trim and stuff like that. And then I kind of decide what kind of lace I want in here which is always an ordeal because I love it all. Um, let me, let's see. 
what do I got going on? Okay, I have that. Let's pull out. Let me just pull out like some of the stuff I have. And um go from there. What else do I have? This and this. Okay, that's enough to <laughs> decide. Let's see here. <coughs> okay, let me put this. Okay, so these are the fabrics I'm going to work with. And we'll, I'll show you kind of, let me put that to the side. Okay, so fabric, I mean, so I want lace on some of the edge, a lot of the edges of the pages. And that I think I'll save for something else. And this, look at the flower, isn't that cool? This could be some fun overlays on stuff. So I am going to cut some of this off. And if you want to know where I find this, some of it's given to me, um, Happy Mail and stuff. Some of it's I find at the... Um, thrift stores, garage sales, some of it's off of old dresses and stuff if you go look at like wedding dresses or prom dresses or stuff or the trims that go on clearance at like Hobby Lobby and stuff you can find that there as well. Um, you just gotta think outside of the box. Old curtains and sheets are awesome like that's what on tablecloths so like I've torn this off of old stained tablecloths see that has the, <laughs> the curve in it so I just clip and tear this all off um, that was one this is a different one this one came off of another tablecloth this one I can't remember what this was from it might have been a kitchen curtain but there was only so much you know how they have it at the bottom of your curtain so I have that and then this I can't remember all right so this oh let's see I'm trying to decide here okay and then this I've cut up numerous times and there's still one. this was a big um, tablecloth and it had these awesome embroidery somebody hand embroidery these designs on and so I've kind of been trying to use the designs. So like, I don't know what happened here, but I'm thinking I can save it if I, it's kind of like doing a fussy cut. So let's see if I can work this out a little without cutting. If we cut into it, the design itself, the embroidery design, you could end up unraveling it depending on how they tie it off their ends and whatnot. So, um, you know what? We might see if I can do something with this, make it like a hanging bookmark or something. Let's see. don't know until I try. I might just cut it off too. Depends what it looks like on the paper. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, things to think about when you're, you know, trying to make a cohesive <laughs> I should say cohesive journal um, sometimes you know you don't have to sometimes you want it to be eclectic which I really like those because then you just mash whatever you want in it but I feel like this needs a little bit more oomph to it okay so this we can do something with it I can stitch it onto a page and you know have it come down so 
you know, that's something I'm going to save. And then, okay, so this little, let me see if I can get this out. Something like this, I like to put on a, a the corner of a page on top of a pocket. So, and what I do since I don't have my um, uh, iron, I don't know what I did with my iron. So what I do is I just dampen it, and it takes out the wrinkles, and then I lay it there, and it'll dry. So it's not so wrinkly. Of course, now it's wet, but that's okay. It'll dry. <laughs> It'll dry. Okay, so now I got some bigger pieces. And it just so happens. Do I want to... Oh, I love this. Um, see, but it's mess it's got a hole in it. So what I can do... Do I want to try, we'll try, we'll try putting it on like a pay, like, um, might be too big. This one might be too big. Yeah, that's going to have to go for another one. But something like, okay, so I have something like this, okay, that I can, it actually might fit on a full page, you know, a page and let it hang out like that. So we're going to keep that. And then you're probably going, man, isn't this too much? Probably is. Okay. This might stick out too far. Um, but I might put a little bit. Eh, I don't know. We're, that's going to go in reserve, so I'm going to put that away. But this stuff, this is my go-to for my edges because it's delicate edge pieces. And I usually, let's see, I can use up all of this for one thing. So we're going to use up all that to save this. And then stuff that I've had out in my little grab too. This was given to me. I love this. I'm going to use some of this. Um, it's called tinsel. Non, non tarnishing. It's crochet thread, but it's like a gold. I don't know. It's cool. Jane sent me this. So I'm going to use that. And I already have a ruffle, so I might use that too. So let's see here. This was one of their old shiny, an old shiny um, tablecloth. Um, and I've been using it a lot because of the weave. It's great, but it's got a faint floral pattern to it. So, um, this is great for layering and stuff. So that's why I keep it out on my desk. It'll probably be in the spine of my book as well, because I use that too. Okay, let's see what else we have in here. We have a little more black. I have my thread that I use for my ugh. okay so I want to use that ribbon uh, I might use some of that red and hang on to this too that's going to be used for something else oh see here's some more of that this is just fun trim that has the frayed edges I use a lot of that I use a lot of everything been trying to use up some of this. This is the last I have of this, but it's I think it's the wrong color. So this we're gonna put away. Let me see. Alright. And the black, I'm saving, I'm gonna save that for something else. I do have okay, there's my blue ribbon I want to use throughout. And then This is my little junky, um, <laughs> my little junk, my little bits and pieces that I like to, there's my clips, which they don't go there. They go in my, okay, there's another one. 
let's see, is there stuff I can use up in here? Um, yeah, see, I got scraps of stuff that I need to use. Um, that, oh, here's some more trim. I might go on just to give it a different color. There's some scrap, there's some scrap. I'm saving that. Little bits and pieces. Hopefully I can collage somewhere. Okay, that is the gist of uh <sighs> <laughs> now what? <laughs> All right, now this is kind of what I end up doing. Um, first, um, I want to put the edge, the edgings, and I do think I will incorporate some of the ribbon as well. And this, I will go ahead and use this since it's, yeah. See, like I could do here. All right, so basically, this is <laughs> this is my process. So then I come I come with my fabrics as well. Um, sometimes I want to make tabs. Sometimes I want to do ruffles. Sometimes I just want to do a fold over or a fabric pocket. And um, sometimes I want to do. A layered belly band which I think will be great with this um, so just to, I like kind of an idea of how tall I want it and I can always trim it down if I need to so it just gives me an idea how long and on a page so I go a little extra and um, that way you know I can trim trim it down when I need to. So I just kind of go through, um, I'll do, I'll mainly make some ruffles, first of all, um, which I want one out of this. Actually, I could probably do a few ruffles out of this one. Okay, so I have some. I've been saving this blue yarn leftover. So it's not just a, what I do is I'll lay some stuff down. Um, I could do one of these too. So, what I'll do, lay one here, and I'll lay one over here. I probably should lay this on, there we go, on top. So what I'll do is when I get my sewing machine out and I get it ready to go in, I'll squeeze it all together and run it all in together to give it some layers and texture. And I like to put pieces of paper and, um, uh, you know, old book pages, like here's a scrap. <laughs> So if I layer the layer it in, it's a great way to um, just like this. Uh, and then I let ain't gonna hurt. Uh, I don't have my scraps with me though. But let me pause. Yeah, I'm gonna show you what this is gonna end up looking like. Let's see where did you go here. I don't know. Are you paused? Oops. I almost didn't hit the record button. Okay, so we're going to see how this turns out. So, 
now I've got some crazy <coughs> some crazy ruffles going in uh, now let's show you let me grab a Now, if you don't have a sewing machine, if you can hand stitch, you know, just needle and thread, you can definitely do that. So, on a page, any page, I can glue or stitch these on. So, look at that. Is that not fun? And it's got layers, it's got paper, it's got lace, it's got string, so... I love this, you know, so I have two of them and completely, almost completely different color, you know, the blue is more prominent in this one. So that gives me that raggedy textured thing that's going to go on some book pages. So I'll do that with a few of them. now. I, so I do like to add like some sentiments or some words or you know I have I cut these all out of um, the book I got letters um, but I got you know some images you know I do like to stitch these in too as well um, I got you know I got pictures from the book so that is another option. I just so like this one, might I have a bit of earth? You know, it's a great little saying that can be stitched. So now my question is, let me put let's put, let's see if I have any that I want to use. So we'll, I'll do this one, and this is another one, and this one, the Robin who showed the way. Um, let's see, I got in the garden. Oh, this one is a good one. No, but that's going to be for a tag. So, all right. So, I have a few that I can add to. I don't think I'm going to add them to this one because I think it's these are plenty. So, let me put those over in my pile. And let's see. Do I want, well, the robin, let's edge it with some blue. Go ahead and get these ready. And since I like, sometimes I like them sideways and sometimes I prefer them to be headers um, since the way they read. Otherwise I have, I need to cut them. And um, so what I mean by that is, let's see here, let's finish doing some edging okay so like all right so this one's already um, I think we'll do this one so if I wanted to go along the page I don't it normally doesn't bug me if I do it this way even though the wording is this way but I also like um, you know, putting them so they're easier to read, okay? Um, that just means I gotta re ink what I cut off. <laughs> But 
this way. It's kind of like a tag within itself. It's a little something. But then I can add, let's say, where's that? I have that brown. Or I could do a, let's I'm gonna put a little bit of black in there. So, so what I'll do is I'll come on top of the ruffle and let me fix this one real quick. I'll get right back to you. Hold on. Well, okay, <laughs> now that I'm trying to keep all the boring stuff off the film, of course this whole video could be boring, um, <clears throat> so I just added, it. I just cut it corner this, let's see here, let me get rid of my, so now that I stitched might I have a bit of earth which is a famous line from this book um, it's ready to go but I could add this little I think that will go well I'm trying to use up my little bits of scraps I have which way okay so I'm just gonna glue this down uh, perfect so now I can either put this on a page or it's going to go on a tag so like I said I have to get all my <clears throat> mainly my stitching done that I want to attach to the actual book pages you know what I mean so the lace so this because these can be glued in but my lace trims cannot um, let me get my signatures so hopefully Okay, so first I'll come with the first signature and then decide, of course, I want trim on the first page. Okay, and then I'll flip it. And let's see. I think I want a bit. Oh, well, that's all I have anyway. So, a little on this page. So, I'll just lay it in there. And that's going to have to go. Okay, so I have some of this as well. Um, let's see. I like to put this on my... coffee dyed paper. Alright. And I just kind of lay it in there where I want it to go. And then this is the center. And I probably will put this on both sides because this is the center and of the book signature and it's the original pages. So I'll probably do both on this. So I'll stick that there. And then I kind of like to do, let's see. You know what, we can do the last 
one. Yeah. Okay. So for that, there's the lace that I'm going for the first one. Yeah, this is going to have a lot of texture stuff in here. Okay, so and then for this one, ooh, I didn't save enough lace, did I? But I want to use, let me, man, that would be, huh? <clears throat> I'm trying not to get ahead of myself. Okay. I love this on the front. Uh, if I stitch it down right now, though, I have to know what I'm doing with it. So, I could... I might end up stitch, uh, stitching this to actual paper and gluing the paper down as a pocket to, to have... So that's a no-go for that one. But I do have, um, oh, so I kind of wanted to do a layer belly band here. So that I'll have to do after I get these sewn in. So let me... Like I said, there's lots of thinking to this part, and then I don't always think of everything either. Um, it kind of throws me off a bit, because <laughs> I love adding my, so like here, so. And use this as a edge edging but without the ruffles but the stitching just gives it some added just a little add just it adds a little something so we'll put that there this one I will probably fold to make a pocket um, I love the colors of this. So, we're gonna Isn't that fabulous? I love this. Okay. This was one of my painted papers I was lucky enough to get from Jane. I love it. I always cut out the center because it reduces the bulk. And where's yeah? Well, let's see here. Yep, it's good. Because then what I can do is I can sew and add some stitching to that. And where is oh here we go. Maybe on one of these pockets. I want to do a little piece. So maybe there. So I'll lay that there. Put this back in. Okay. And then the rest of this. Let's use it on this one this one here. I'll have to cut this down anyway, but I think if I just stitch it on like this and maybe add a bit of of ribbon on this one. Okay. So that can go here. Alright, I got some braille. I love this. Okay, I got some old. And then, here, yeah. this center one might be a fun one to do that overlay on. Kind of like a... 
um, a window dressing. I like that it's clear here. Okay, so what I need to do is go half seat on this. And then this way, because I like this, it's a double one here. So, because then I can hang something off of it. And if I stitch it, then I can hang something off of it on both of these. So that's, and then I can hang like uh, my tracing paper or some vellum or something. So I'll have to add more to this as I go. All right. And then maybe the writing spots here. Let's see. Maybe I just want to add some texture. So we'll do, I'll stitch that in. Should I do the opposite side too? I think so. I think so. Let's see. Perfect, but kind of be like uh, matching. So I have it here, and then flip it over, and we'll do this so it can continue on. Okay, I like that. Okay, any more? I could add a little flippy flip the flip flip here. Um, let's see. Oh, here. I got this. Flippity. This stuff is so sheer. It's so funny. So, and that, I can put something on that one. Okay, so that will be a little flippity, flippity, flippity. All right. So, anything else? I'm going to put that there. Oh, I can add the other one to this one because this is the only green one. Nope, I'm not going to put it there. I'm going to put it here. This might be a... Um, let's see, I might do something like that, then I can embellish it some more. Okay, so that's the end of that one. Like I said, this is only the first round. <laughs> so that's the second signature. So this will get, let's finish up the third one, and then that'll give you an idea of what I'm doing for so far this round. This is just the basic from this isn't just and this isn't me adding the you know the snippets in either <laughs> so <laughs> I told you I like the textures and stuff and I have to add a dip my sew in my additional papers too I cannot forget to do that okay so last one um let's see what colors what color do I want to start with I think I'm going to go with a double, a double, double, double. You know what I mean by that? 
move some down below. So, but I can, and then, I think, This is, I'm going to use this one as like a tab so it's going to come out further. And this will lay like that. See, and we still have this. And then this might have to a little more. All right, and then I'll have to trim that down and I can add, you know, a little bit of something, something, something. Oh, this would work. Okay. So I figure this out. I'm just going to leave it as the front. Okay. And then got this my and I think I think a little more of the green will be fun in this. But and what I mean by I think I'm going to use it as a over tap because I haven't done those. And what I be my that is tabs that come over the top because those are easy to add to. Okay. And then this one. Where is. Where's my other? Hold on, you guys. Did I put it away? Okay. We know I gotta cut this down the size. I'll put a little bit more here. And then. This, I think I'm going to do a fabric pocket on. And then here are the two. And I think I'm going to redo maybe just it on top. it on the edges instead though okay let's just measure this out okay those are my center my, I got a fabric pocket and let's put where did that This one, I think. Okay. Go inside with this one. Okay, and then this, oh, this is the very back page. I love this back page, and I think I'll finish it off with a, we're going to do this. Okay, let me put this up. And then I think we're going to do a little bit of the gray. 
changing. And I think this is where I'm going to put in. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> I just kind of want to. All right, this is going to hang off the edge. I'm going to add a little bit of this green. And then I think that that one, this one, I'll peek it out. The other side. So, a layer. So, I'll get this way. The lace comes out on this side. And I'll have this come out this side. And I'll put some green on this. Okay, and I'll fray that some more. Okay. All right. So, this is my first round. So, as my first round, you know. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to show you my steps. So then I go through, I will sew all of this on. And then I will um, decide if I need to add any additional sewing elements. Like if I want to stitch something down or add some threading or something. And then that'll be it. <laughs> anyway. I know it's long, but I wanted to show you. And so that's, this is my next step that I'm doing. So, and if you notice, they're already getting fluffy. <laughs> so, um, stay tuned. Bye.